it's not really air traffic's responsibility to call something an accident. Sometimes we know, yeah, that's an accident. There was a fatality, for example, and that meets the definition of accident. But it would be the investigator in charge, whether that's with flight standards or the NTSB that officially would determine if it's an accident. So then the quality control groups that are stationed in the different service centers, they will get involved in looking at the events of that occurrence and helping determine if the facility is going to have a formal accident or an informal accident or something lesser, just, okay, this, you've already got some data, hold that data for now, but we're not going to produce any further documentation. A formal accident will include information that can be put into a package and there will be information beyond that that's in a file. What's the difference? Aircraft accident package, doesn't that sound like the whole thing in air traffic? A package just refers to the data that's collected. It's a subset of the file. The file contains everything, whereas an accident package is a subset of the file. So the file will contain things that a package cannot. How do you put radar into an accident package? You can say that you have radar data, but in order to see the radar data, you may need to go to the facility and look at the display or look at a replay that was produced in, on a computer. What happens to the accident package when you send it off? First, you're only distributing a copy. The original always stays at the facility, unless for some reason you get a request from our office or some other authority that you need to transfer the original. But you send out a copy. We have processes in place to first ensure that that copy is correct, that it has the components that it's supposed to have in the format that it's supposed to have. The accident package generator. It's a great tool for those that choose to use it to put together an accident package correctly. It's generally sent out electronically, and who would need it? The investigator in charge, that would be something that um, he, would be a, he or she would be on the distribution list. Um, NTSB may ask for a package. Uh, the quality uh, control group at the service center may want to see it. There's a variety of people, and certainly if there's the uh, opportunity or thought that there would be litigation down the road, you're going to have FOIA requesters asking for that accident package.